Hey, this is Chip with Web Video Chefs, and I want to show you a quick tutorial on how to make some call outs. So, um, I did a tutorial on a video, and I want to show you how I did these call outs. So, the first thing you want to do whenever you're shooting something, first rule is to give yourself some space on the left or right side, whatever side. I like to personally put myself on the right because people read from left to right instead of right to left. So, I like having text on this side. So basically what I did, I matched up the audio and now I'm gonna show you how to make a text just like this. So basically, we're gonna click on that text and we're gonna just deconstruct uh, what we've done here. So I use the font impact, so that's real important. You ever see those internet memes, they always use impact. And I am just, I uh, wanna make sure that you go under face, make sure it's white, okay? opacity and then you want to make sure you click on outline and you want to have a fill color of black all right so if I don't do outline you see how it looks you can barely see it so impact is a font and you want to have a fill color of black I just like black because it's easier to read and it stands out on any uh, text anything that you're that you that you have so after you do that I make the width about 3.0 because if I do that it looks really bad so I just I just go right here and then you're gonna put 3.0 click here and type 3 and hit enter alrighty and then I don't put a blur on it usually because I don't want a blur alright um, if you want a drop shadow I really don't think you need one but uh, you could use an optional drop shadow to do that you don't need glow now the second step is when you put your text there and of course to get the text you just use the basic text um, just the basic text element it doesn't matter which one I just use any of the um, uh, text features here in Final Cut Pro 10 you can fade whatever it is because you're going to change your font anyway alright so once you do that you want to click here and then you want to click this is 10.0.7 you want to click transform and you see how I moved it over it was in the middle here and then I just moved it over here and to keep it in the same place to make sure I keep it in the same place or in a similar place I could just hit copy and paste and um, you can go that way so you see how it is it comes up and then I put a crossfade on the, the back end the top and the bottom and you should be fine so uh, that's a way to do text if you want to see uh, this video how it looks you can just click right here and I'll have it at the end of the video and in the annotation so thanks a lot take care